Hey, everybody. Um, I hope you are all doing well. I am here with Donna, and Donna is with Porch Light, um, and I've already forgotten, Youth Alliance. Youth Mentoring Alliance. Mentoring Alliance. Oh, my, uh -huh. God. Oh my goodness. Um, so welcome, Donna. How are you? Thanks. I'm doing well, and yourself? I'm doing well, as can be expected, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I am sure right now um, you have had to pivot um, like everyone else has and adjust what uh, it is you're doing, but what you do is so important. Um, so how are you, first of all, tell everybody about Torchlight and then how are you guys adjusting to make sure you're able to continue the work that you guys do? Sure. So um, Torchlight Youth Mentoring Alliance used to be Big Brothers Big Sisters of Northeast Ohio. We changed um, a year ago, January. One of the primary reasons was because we were being asked to do more than just the traditional one-on-one -on -one mentoring relationship that Big Brothers Big Sisters is known for. So for instance, um, we were asked to help at Chagrin Falls Park Community Center and um, the mentoring, establish a mentoring program there. So we're there three times a week. And um, so mentoring is what we do in all different shapes and forms, um, really just to assist, you know, the community and, and the needs. We serve Lake Ashtabula and Geauga counties. So um, a lot of kids need mentors. So what this has changed is a lot. Um, because all our, well, one of, one of our primary fundraisers is um, Light Up the Lanes, and we did a small version of it in Ashtabula County on March 8th, and then our larger one was going to be in Painesville and Lake County on March 15th, and of course that was canceled. Um, so, you know, with regards to fundraising, you know, we don't know what the future looks like right now. Um, our next event is in June and it's golfing. So, you know, are we going to be able to do that? I sure hope so, because by June, you know, to be outside, but who knows? So mm -hmm. we have to try to establish a, a plan with and without that. And will we be able to reschedule bowling? Maybe how does this impact our biggest in November with Festival of Trees? Still don't know. So we're just trying to be flexible. And in the meantime, our primary concern is to provide support to mentors and mentees, um, primarily the mentees who are unmatched. We have about 27 kids on our wait list right now that are not matched that usually participate in a monthly group activity where we have a few mentors and a group, that group of kids so that we keep them kind of involved somehow. Um, now, obviously we don't, we're not able to do our monthly activity um, but again, just trying to be supportive um, to the kids and, and too, for the ones that are in matches, um, trying to provide the mentors with some resources so that, well, how can I still connect with my mentee, even though we're physically not able to be together? Mm -hmm. um, you know, challenges, some of the younger kids don't have phones or don't maybe have Wi-Fi or, don't, you know, so... It's, you know, calling on mom's phone and talking to them and, and just trying to be creative about, like somebody said the other day, how about sending a letter? Wow. <laughs> you know, what is that <laughs> like now? So, but it's a really cool idea because I thought like my mentee, oh my gosh, I know. And, and he's older, he's 19 now, but I think, wow, that would knock his socks off to get a letter, you know, because kids don't even really know what that is like. So it does provide us with, with some unique opportunities. Um, but then too, like Chagrin Falls Park is not open for mentoring now. And the kids that come to that, we don't necessarily know who they are, or their contact information. You know, sometimes there's 20 kids, sometimes there's five kids, sometimes there's 40 kids. So how do we remain supportive? That's a little more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, same with our school base. We have three after school programs and, and how do we continue to engage those kids? Um, so those, and even our foster care program, our foster care program, they're going to do a virtual 
um, get together this coming Saturday because they typically get together for two hours every Saturday. So they're going to do their first virtual one. So again, it, it, it took us a minute to kind of go, all right, how do we do this? And, and I think it, we have a phenomenal team and, and great creativity. Um, so it's just trying to figure it out because it's different, but it's not better, worse, or otherwise. It's just different. So we mm -hmm. have to be adaptable. That was a really long answer, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a per it was a perfect answer. It was a perfect answer. Um, and are you seeing um, some of the, the virtual that you're putting in place, are you seeing it being able to um, be implemented into into your program? You know, I'm, I'm thinking um, maybe there are some people now who could step in for the 20 some people that you're looking for um, and provide some virtual interaction because, you know, they have the time now to do it. Um, are, are, are you reaching out to folks and, and asking for virtual mentees right now or mentors? Not, not really, though. That's an interesting thought that I hadn't, hadn't really thought of. That's because then they fall in love with their mentee right. and I, then they... They don't fall in love with them, but they, you know, they right. they they've connected with them by heart. And when it comes back to play, right, just something to think about. Right, exactly. Yeah, that that might be an opportunity. Um, the problem, I know obviously, you, with kids, we we have to be very careful with sharing their information. Yeah. Um, and and you know, men mentors go through you know pretty extensive application and background check and all that stuff, obviously. But you know, is is there an opportunity? Maybe that's a that's a good idea. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, maybe all. Oh yeah, maybe all that paperwork could be done right. and submitted because they're not face to or they're not face to face with them right now. And right. Um, just, you know, I think that's the yeah. great thing about this time is that we are all um, kind of in it together and discovering right. what the new new looks like. So, exactly. um, so how are you doing um, in, in, you know, do you, you don't work from home, you guys go in, right? So this is different for you? Every, uh, you know, depending on the position, everybody works a little bit differently. A lot of my work I do from home and, and probably 25, 30% of it is going out to events, you know, meetings, getting together with people, talking about mentoring, things like that. So um, I'm spending more time at home, <laughs> um, but still trying to do the follow up and, and talking to people and, and trying to engage differently. Um, so for me, it's not a huge switch outside of not going to events um, because I really, you know, home is my home base. I go into the office probably once or twice a week um, just to connect with everybody. Um, however, you know, most of the staff does do, you know, the office is their home base. So, you know, everybody is seeming to manage pretty well. We're all touching base at least once a week, if not more, depending on, you know, the situation, but um, everybody seems to be doing okay. You know, it's, I, I feel bad for, or I, I guess the challenge is for those that have younger kids that now are, you know, having them home with school to do and stuff like that. So that, you know, that is harder, but I think for the most part, everybody's kind of trying to keep their routines, even though they're in a different location, it's just the routine of it. So, mm -hmm. and, and I think this week, everybody's kind of hitting their stride, like, all right, all right, th this is going to be okay. This will work. Yes. So, but yeah. um, it's, it is, uh, it's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. And, so, it, and it's hard. Like I always tell people when I'm looking for mentors is, you need to see their faces. You know, it's it's seeing the kids' faces, and and to that same extent, it's like seeing our team's faces. It's I miss their faces. So, but 
you know, we're getting better at it and, and we'll do more of the video things. So we'll, we'll manage. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, is there any hobbies lately that, that, that maybe you put on the back burner that you are uh, now trying? I think, I think I'm the one now asking the dog, come on, do you want to go for a walk? You do want to go for a walk, don't you? <laughs> we do an awful lot of walking, but I, uh, I just, we're hoping to finish a thousand piece puzzle um, tonight. And, and we've kind of made it a contest in our neighborhood. Now, you know, we, we got beaten badly. I'm not going to lie, but um, we are doing these puzzles and we do these um, neighborhood driveway parties now, happy hours, where everybody kind of comes to the end of the driveway and, you know, we kind of yell at each other. Well, I have to say we do congregate a bit, but we maintain our six foot difference. But, you know, it, 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 again, I'm trying to look at this as a unique opportunity to, to do things differently, to reprioritize, to remember that, you know, what we do is all about people and, uh, and all about I mean, not necessarily mentoring, but it's relationships. So I think it really offers everybody a good opportunity to get back to what's most important, and that's relationships. So yeah, well, you're doing great work there, um, and I hope that you find some kind of balance in this new virtual world yeah. so that we can keep connecting with uh, with our young for sure. Right. Right. Is there anything before we end that you would like to say um, to the people watching? Well, <laughs> loaded question. I, I keep thinking the weather is going to get warmer. We will get through this. And, and again, it, it's, you know, it's all in how you view it. And, and not to say that I'm the most optimistic, cheery, yay person in the world, but I, we have no choice. So it just is, you have to see it as an opportunity. And, and hopefully some of the things we'll learn throughout this process will be things that will help us do and be better at, at relationships, but at our jobs and at, at really, you know, doing what we do. So Absolutely. that's it. Absolutely. Well, thank you for joining us. And uh, I hope you stay well. Um, and you. where could people find you if they're interested in learning uh, more about it, Torchlight? Um, you can follow us on Facebook. It's at Torchlight YMA for Youth Mentoring Alliance. Um, also, our website is torchlightyma.org. Um, and we'll put it right here for people to see when they're watching. Oh, perfect. And um, certainly my contact information is on the website, but it's just dbears at Torchlight YMA. Okay. Um, you know, and I, I am hoping that, you, you know, your idea was good and maybe we can begin to implement that as a first step in mentoring. That would be, that would be really cool to see well, us have the opportunity to get more mentors for kids mm -hmm. and them. Well, I would uh, like to put my name in as the first test person Ooh. on that. Um, so yeah, sign me up for sure, for sure. Awesome. Well, great. Well, thank you so much. And I, be well, please. And uh, we will definitely talk soon. All right. Thanks, Molly. All right. Take care. Thanks, Donna. Have a great one. You too. Bye-bye.